before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing a giveaway on two Antwerp 2022 Legends capsules. So if you want to win them, make sure to leave a like on this video, comment down below on what you think I should be making videos on the next and also make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, last but not least, make sure to join the Discord server as we will be giving away more stuff and we will be announcing the winners on that Discord server. So, with all this being said, let's jump right into this video. And what is up guys, The Stone here. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the best CSGO investments to make right now before CS2 comes out. So, as you know, I've been missing for quite a while, but I am finally making my return. I'm going to be making some investing videos for CSGO and some other stuff. So, if you want to be updated on that, make sure to hit that subscribe if you, of course, haven't already. So, with all this being said, enough chit chat, let's get into why we are all here and that is what we need to buy to make some money from CSGO. So, first off, I'm gonna be splitting this video into categories. So first we're gonna be talking about cases, then stickers, then skins, and finally at the end, agents. So everything is gonna be timestamped. So if you just wanna skip to the part which you are interested in, feel free to do so. If not, enjoy the video as a whole. So we're gonna start it off with cases. So as we all know, now that CS2 is announced, a lot of the cases have been jumping up in price. Cases are one of my favorite investments to make in CSGO because they are a deflationary asset, they get used up and they don't get re-entered into the supply which means of course their supply is diminishing and which usually in return means their price will go up. As history has shown, cases always go up. So buying almost any case will net you most probably some sort of profit unless of course you buy it on a very very high price on some sort of hype chain then you might end up losing money but if you buy cases generally speaking you will be making money so now that every case has gone up a lot what are some still good investments to make that can net you some decent profit with cases currently my two picks four cases technically three picks are gonna be the prisma case the prisma one case and the fracture case now i'm gonna go over why i think the, the prisma and the prisma 2 case are good investments now why i like these cases are because they are still pretty cheap they're under one dollar and also they have the talon knives the ursus knives and the stiletto knives in doppler conditions and in tiger tooth conditions and in marble fade conditions now these are all very very popular finishes for knives and these are the only two cases that have these type of knives. Of course, the skins in the Prisma case and the Prisma 2 case are also pretty decent skins as both of the cases have very decent skins. But as we all know, most cases go up in price because they have very nice knives. Usually, the skins in the case aren't as big of a price driver as the knives itself. So... Because of this, because they are cheap, and because they have unique knives, I think that the Prisma 2 case and the Prisma are very, very decent investments currently. Now, for the Fracture case, I like it, because guess what? It has the Shattered Web knives, and it's cheap. The Fracture case is the second case that has the Shattered Web knives. Of course, the Shattered Web case has the Shattered Web knives, but as we know, the Shattered Web case is pretty expensive right now. So, I think that the Fracture case is still a very decent investment skins in it legion of anubis and the prince stream desert eagle are very very good skins very sought after and all of the other skins also very very high quality skins but once again i think the main driver in price for this case is gonna be the shattered web knives the nomad knife is a very very popular knife and it is in this case it has classic finishes on that knife we also have the Paracord knife, once again, a very popular knife, and the Skeleton knife, which is also very, very popular. So, why this case is gonna go up? Simple. 
it has amazing knives and it doesn't have that big of a supply well it has one of the biggest supplies out there but compared to what we have seen in the past for csgo cases i think this case has a very very good future ahead of itself plus the price right now is very cheap at only 75 cents per case which is absolutely cheap for current case prices of course those three cases are my favorite investments to make in cases right now but if you want to do something else maybe switch it up maybe you already have those three cases then i would suggest you guys getting chroma 3 cases or spectrum 2 cases as these are the cheapest cases in their collections so the chroma 3 case is the cheapest from the chroma 1 2 and 3 and the spectrum 2 is cheaper than the spectrum 1 case so that is why i'm suggesting them and plus they have classic knives with doppler tiger tooth and marble fade finishes which are always gonna be very popular that is for the chroma case and the spectrum haste of course has butterfly knives in it with the doppler and marble fade finishes which are very very good butterfly knives are one of the most popular knives out there so this is why i think the spectrum 2 case is also a very very decent investment the skins in both of these cases are decent of course chroma 3 case not so good but the spectrum 2 has pretty pretty decent skins as it has the ak-47 empress in it so because of these factors i think that they are decent investments now yes their price is a little bit higher than the previous three cases we mentioned but as i said if you want to diversify then it's okay to get a little bit of chroma 3 and spectrum 2 cases otherwise stick to the first three cases we mentioned so with all this being said that is going to be it for case investments stick to the three i said at the beginning if you already have a lot of those then diversify a little bit with the rest of the cases now we're going to be jumping into stickers which i know I love stickers, I love stickers, but currently I am on the off for stickers. Why I say this? Well, because a major is coming and you never know what's going to happen when a major is coming. If the stickers look good in it, all of the other stickers are going to tank in price and that's going to create a good opportunity to buy, but that, that opportunity is yet to come. And of course, if the new stickers from the Paris Major end up being ugly, then all of the older stickers that have low supply and are good looking like the Stockholm and Antwerp stickers are gonna skyrocket in price. So for now, what I would suggest to you guys is stay away from stickers, but if you wanna take that risk and hold some stickers for long-term investing, like keep them for more than a few months, like a year, two years, then I would suggest getting yourself some Stockholm Contenders capsules or some Antwerp Legends capsules as both of these capsules have stickers from very popular teams and some teams even that are not playing in this current major that is upcoming so those capsules are gonna be mostly safer investments that are not gonna tank as much no matter what the stickers look like and of course if the new stickers look bad then these capsules are prime to skyrocket in price and get you some very decent profits so for stickers i'm gonna be suggesting just those two capsules anything else is risky of course you can always invest in separate stickers from these capsules and that is gonna be decent but me myself i prefer investing in the capsules themselves as they drop in supply their prices usually go up yes the stickers inside of them go up as well but I prefer holding the capsule itself as I find it it goes up in value a little bit more than the individual stickers so next up we're gonna be talking about some skin investments if you have if you guys have been following me for a while and have watched my older videos then you know that skins are not my favorite investment to make in CSGO simply because I find cases and sticker capsules a lot better why i think this is because a player buys a skin uses it and then resells it drops it back into the supply pool on the other hand we have cases and sticker capsules that as you all know doesn't happen you buy a case you usually open the case now yes there are investors that hold them but most people buy a case and open it and that case is gone as for the skins only more skins are added and for a skin 
to go up in price it needs to be very good looking have a surge in popularity and also csgo needs to have a surge in players so that more players need more skins otherwise those skins don't go up in value so this is why i do not suggest any skin investments but of course if you're a type of guy that looks to simply have good skins in their inventory that are gonna slowly go up in price or at least not lose value over time then i would suggest getting some skins from the cobblestone collection norse collection gods and monsters collection and the control collection now why i suggest this is because those collections are discontinued which means no more skins can be found from those collections anymore that limits their supply so in return these skins should not drop in price anymore they should only steadily go up as the game grows in popularity of course if cs2 is very popular then all of the skins are gonna grow in popularity which means all of them are gonna grow in value but usually not the same percentage as cases and sticker capsules so if you're looking only for profit while investing then stick to cases and sticker capsules but if you want a cool loadout and have some decent investments then buy some skins from collections that are discontinued and collections that have very popular covert skins that way you know that your skins are gonna get used up for trade-ups to get those very popular skins and in return you will make some money but of course once again if you're talking only about making money then stick to cases and sticker capsules if you guys want me to make a more detailed version on skins alone then please feel free to let me down in the comments if enough of you guys want to see a detailed guide on skins what skins to buy exactly then let me know and i'll make that video for you guys of course under skins we also have knives so knives are i think okay investments as well i still think cases and sticker capsules are better but if you're investing in knives, try to get some popular knives like butterfly knives, karambit knives, skeleton knives, knives that a lot of people like to use. Why you would want to do something like that is because, once again, once players start jumping into CS2, if the player base grows, people will be looking for knives. What knives? The most beautiful knives. So, invest in beautiful knives to get the most profit so don't buy unwanted finishes like uh boreal forest or something like that get finishes that are good like doppler finishes now i know these are a lot pricier but if you are investing in knives i would definitely not suggest you guys to buy the shitty finishes but opt in for something better and of course make sure to get them on knives that are good looking like butterfly knives skeleton knives nomad knives knives that are very very high demand so with all this being said now that we've done cases sticker capsules and skins we're gonna jump into the final category for csgo and that is gonna be agents now for agents once again similar to skins are not my favorite investments but a lot of agents are discontinued all of them actually usually only drop from operations so they are okay investments i think they're better than skins but at the same time not so much as usually you do not see yourself other people see you so you know you don't get a lot of value from these agent skins once again if you are gonna get some agent skins you should get number k of course as he is very iconic and is bound to go up in price and also if you're looking for something maybe that's gonna go up in price a lot more and has a low supply then i would suggest getting some operation riptide agents as they have a pretty pretty low supply because not a lot of people invested in them so find a decent looking agent from the riptide collection and make sure to buy it if you like it of course because if it's purely as an investment once again i wouldn't suggest agents as the best investment but if you guys want to be speculative then feel free to get some riptide agents as they have a very very low supply and some of them look very decent so 
Riptide agents are decent investments. So guys, I know in the skins and the agents categories, I didn't go that much in detail, but that is because I want to put an emphasis that as investments, they're not the best. Now, if you guys want to see videos on agents or skins separately in a lot more detail, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'm going to make that video for you guys. I'm going to go in detail on what exactly agents you need to buy on what skins you exactly need to buy to make the most money out of your investment but as i've said a million times in this video cases and sticker capsules are gonna be better now with all this being said i hope you guys learned something from this video i know it was quite a long video but i prefer this long form type of content where I just don't speed run through everything and try to give a bit more detail and why I am thinking what I am thinking and why I am suggesting some investments that I am suggesting. So, with all this being said, hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I will answer every comment out there. And of course, if you want to get a quicker reply, make sure to join the Discord server, which is going to be the first link in the description. We're going to be doing giveaways there and we're also going to be doing giveaways on every single video on YouTube right here. So make sure to stick around. You're going to learn a lot about investing in CSGO and also you're going to be able to win some free skins. So with all this being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one and peace out. Have an amazing day.